first of all, it's a an honor and a pleasure to be here, and it's an honor to be here with Jamie and Dr. Weiner today and the, and the, and the gang. I, uh, I'm just very proud to be in, uh, uh, involved with Nutritional Frontiers and the people here, the finest people there are, and they, what they do, and they care about all of you very sincerely and compassionately. I was uh, at a Baptist convention a couple months ago speaking to uh, uh, Baptist ministers, and uh, they told a story of this gentleman was a Baptist minister, had gone hunting for the first time. So he'd gone out to Colorado to go bear hunting, black bear. Never been hunting before. And uh, he was out deep in the woods all by himself. And all of a sudden, this bear came out of nowhere. And this gentleman backed up, and he tripped over a rock, and he fell backwards. And the bear was basically on top of him. So he did what all he needed to do is to pray. So he closed his eyes and said, oh, dear Lord, please intervene right now, protect me. And all of a sudden, he opened the corner of his eye, and he looked, and he saw the bear was on his knees saying a prayer. And the prayer was, thank you, Lord, for the food that you've set before me. <laughs> OK, I'm not going to quit my day job. Uh, I wanted to tell you something. Everyone sitting in this room is here for a reason. And that's because you were disgusted and frustrated with the current health care system. It's failed you miserably. It's failing everybody miserably. The third and fourth leading cause of death today in this country is the health care. And I don't even call it health care. It's crisis care. Do you realize that the third cause, the leading cause of death today is medi medication interaction? The fourth leading cause of death today is the, the mistakes that are made in the hospitals and in the, in the, in the outpatient now environment, okay? So you all have to take your hand, your, in your own hands, your health. You have to take responsibility. Nobody's doing it for you out there, except when you come to this place is where they're doing it for you, right? They're giving you the information, they empower you to give you that, that what you need to help yourselves, okay? And I have a passion to give as much information sharing with you today about how, just as they do here, Dr. Weiner and, and Jamie and everyone, to show you how can you take your health to the next level. Because nobody else has shown you how to do that. It's, it's criminal. Do you know what the markup is on pharmaceutical drugs in this country? Can anybody want to guess to tell me what the markup is? Anybody? What would you guess? Try 48,000% is the average markup of a pharmaceutical in this country. And it's criminal, OK? Now, don't misunderstand Amen. me. And I have this general training in general medicine. And, and I, there's a time and a place for medicine. But the problem is we're abusing it. We're abusing it. It's getting ridiculous. What is the big epidemic now? It's been for a long time oxycodone and hydrocodone. But you know what they're doing now? And Jamie can even tell you this. They're going over back to heroin and cocaine instead. Okay, do you realize that these drugs are class two drugs, oxycodone, hydrocodone? Do you know that the, that the medical physicians can't even write you? You know that you've got to have a written form prescription now to go to a pharmacy with that? They can't even call it in because it's getting so out of control. It's an epidemic, the use of these medications. So what is the message we're sending to our kids that we're taking all these meds and it's saying to them, oh, that's okay, just take uh, the pain pills and all this, and, and it's, it's, it's just, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Not to mention the kids that are on, uh, you know, they label them with ADD, and they put them on Zimbolta and Concerta and, and, uh, and Ritalin, and these are class two drugs. They're in the same group with uh, cocaine. Class two drugs. So the point of it is that you've got access here to the most amazing nutraceuticals, healthy stuff, the way God intended, as he's put into our earth, Amen. that herbs and vitamins that we're supposed to take, he created them for a reason. Right. And what I want to do here to do for you guys today is tell you about a, a, a system of healing that is so amazing how it works to go in conjunction with what you're already doing with these wonderful nutraceuticals here. And it's a technology that I was introduced to several years ago because I like to use a lot of the German technologies. Germany is ahead of us with like a lot of their technologies. And it happens that uh, this that I'm going to be showing you in just a minute is a technology from Europe that's been around. By the way, is Mike Gallagher here still around? Yes, uh, okay, does, do you know, how do I, do I have a thing that I can press to change the slides on this that I can do? A remote? 
a remote? Fancy, or do I just press that? Yeah, just okay. do the arrows. This technology is something that uh, I, I've been using in my office for some time, and it is it's very healing, and I'm going to show you why is it so healing, and it works beautifully with what you're taking and the diets, the foods. That, isn't that a great lunch? Where else can you eat a lunch like that, right? Now, don't you think they could set up a, a, a place where you could go and eat? Like, is there places like here in town in Pittsburgh that you can eat like that? Right. Now, see, I'm an Ohioan. I grew up in a little town called Steubenville, Ohio. Does anybody know where that's at? That's where I'm actually born, and I left that when I was very young to move to warm Florida. So I don't know what's going on around here as far as what, where you can go and eat, stuff like that. But that's, why is that way of eating so good for you? Anybody, can anybody tell me what you're eating, why that's so good? Because you're eating what? You're eating vegetables that are in the raw state. You're eating fiber, right? You're eating greens. You're detoxifying. You're alkalizing. Because we are so exposed to so many pollutants and environmental toxins, it's no wonder that we're all walking around in a very sick state. And we've got to keep thinking about that and realizing that. And this is going to tie into my, my discussion today. Because you all have got to do everything imaginable to protect yourselves from a, being, becoming a train, a train wreck looking for a place to happen. Okay? And it all starts with your way of eating. And, and just by eating more vegetables, green leafy vegetables and dark skinned fruits and watching the white stuff and eating healthy like you are today, that begins to make a complete change with your way of living and your ability to deal with the number one thing and you're going to build up number one is your immune system because everybody walking around today has a, a compromised immune system. Alrighty? So we want to look at this method or this treatment system that I want to talk to you about today as a way to counter all this bad stuff that you're exposed to. And who in this room, raise your hand, has no stress in their life? Anybody? No stress. Okay. Because whoever would raise their hand to that, then I would say, and what planet did you just fly in from today? Because as you agree, would you not agree stress is killing all of us? Yeah. It's becoming overwhelming. Mm -hmm. So you've got to realize that that's a factor in affecting your health. So that's why you've got to do these extra things, especially what we've, we're talking about today and what we've been doing with Dr. Weiner and Jamie to really enhance your health. Microcurrent and the Mighty Mini. Now, somebody called Jamie the Mighty Mini. Somebody, somebody, did, I, did I hear that? Did you call him? He is. He's pretty mighty. He's pretty mighty for sure. Absolutely. This is called microcurrent therapy. Microcurrent, like I said, started in, actually it started in the United States in the 1930s. The studies of it, there was a doctor by the name of Dr. Rife. Anybody know that name? Royal Rife. He began, he was the originator of, he was the first doctor scientist to literally be able to map out that every cell and organ and tissue in our body is at a charge. Everything is in electrical. You're eating food that's, everything we eat is electrical. Every thought you have, everything you say, everything is energetic. And it's the energy and the change in energy that creates the disease. And his study showed that when there's a change in that energy field of the body is when the disease process begins. And he was able to develop a machine called the Rife machine that would literally bring the energy of the body back in balance and healing began. And what happened was at the time back then in the 40s and 50s, the University of Michigan, he, he went there and said, give me at the cancer center your most sick patients. So they had 16 patients that were terminally ill. He took them, put them on his machine, restabilized the energetic balance in their bodies, and their bodies went into a healing mode. And these doctors at the University of Michigan were so impressed that they said, we should do a study and publish it back in the 50s. Well, guess what? Back then, right about the time they were re ready to publish this study, mysteriously, Dr. Reif's uh, factory was burned to the ground that made the machine. And the doctors that were going to be involved in the publication all disappeared. They scattered oh, no. back in the 50s. Do you know one of the most ruthless people in the, in the face of this earth, and I hope there's no Rockefeller descendants in this room, was John D. Rockefeller. He's responsible for why 
the healthcare system of this country is the most greedy system, and I'm, I'm, I know I'm changing a train of thought, but it ties in to what I'm talking about, is because this man, because Rife could have had all that published and back in the day, in the 50s, we could have had all this natural stuff, but Rockefeller set up the medical schools and pharmaceutical industry so they would be connected as research centers because he was serving his own gain and own, own needs because think about it, he owned what was called standard oil, right? Well, what are pharmaceuticals made of? Think about it. Petrochemically based products. So it was to his gain to make sure that the way the system was, was to his, to his gain and not allow anything natural at all to come into being, especially the critical time was back in the 40s and 50s. So this stuff that I'm talking about right now got lost. It just got lost. And it, then the, the, the family of, the, of Dr. Reif, they kept it, but it then went overseas to Germany, and Germany began studying this more and more and developed this microcurrent system to where it is. And it happened that the doctor that's a close friend, a friend of mine, who was one of the pioneers to bring it to the United States, then he and I collaborated, and he developed this little instrument today that I'm testing you all on, that I'm going to talk about right now, that, that this little mighty mini is a little microcurrent has in it According to the European research, the most healing of all these low, it's a low energy frequency, basically as microcurrent is, low energy frequency. And this has in it that frequency that has shown to be the most have healing effect on the body. And I'm going to show you why that is right now. So let's look at it. Remember I said our body is, we've got to deal with all kinds of toxins. And as I mentioned, we, we, we've got all kinds of toxins from, from the herbicides to pesticides to insecticides, you name it. Do you realize that we even have what are called xenocides? Has anybody ever heard, heard that term, xenocides, X-E-N-O? Xenocides are what are toxins that are hormones and stuff in our foods, our fast food. Why are our children, are the young, the young ladies developing at 9 and 10 years old breasts and they're having their period? Uh, even younger, because th the junk food is laced with these xenocides, these hormones. Yeah. This generation of our children and our grandchildren, they're going to call it the X generation. They're the ones that are going to be one out of two is going to be with cancers, and they're going to be with heart disease, and they're going to be the sickest generation of all because they're exposed more than ever to all this stuff that we've been exposed to, but we, they're going to be far worse off. Who in this room grew up on a farm? Who? So growing up on a farm, you ate real food. Yeah. Today, are we, eat, are we drinking real milk today? No, no. Are we eating real stuff that, how, I mean, are we eating, when you grew up, did you eat meats that were laced with hormones? Of course all not. Natural. It was all natural. That's all part of this stuff that you're exposed to that's making everybody sick. Okay, let's go to the next slide here. I call it Frankenstein's food and nutrition. Frankenstein's foods create Frankenstein bodies. Okay? So think about it. All kinds, of, all kinds of junk. Look at it. Everything that we eat, it's processed, that we're sticking in our bodies. The old saying, garbage in. Why would, you, why would you be more concerned about the gas? A lot of people are more concerned about the gas that they put in their cars than the food they put in their mouth. Think about it. It, does that make sense? It, it makes no sense at all. So good nutrition starts with, like you're eating today the lunch. This is the Frankenstein food and Frankenstein nutrition. So the question is, do we really need to take all these medications? Remember, there's a time and place for them, but do we need to take so many? No, the answer is no, and I'm here to show you why. You already know it. You go back in that room, you know you see this wonderful the nutrition, nutraceuticals. Look at this. Just tell me where you kids got the idea to take so many drugs. Remember what I said, the message we're sending our kids? They open up our medicine cabinet, and what do we have? Full of drugs. Do you know that it used to be Prozac? You know, you've heard of Prozac. Company Eli Lilly made them multi-billion dollar industry just from Prozac. Do you know what the number one prescribed group of medications are today? Antidepressants antipsychotics, and sleeping aids. And do you know what causes you to be depressed, to have anxiety, and to be stressed, or what 
there's something you could go right now, I can send you right in that back room. It's called adrenals. And you get your adrenals. All of you in here, your adrenals are exhausted because all of you in here, there's not one person in this room has not, not been affected by stress. But yet, do you realize that they give you these antipsychotics to cover up the problem, the sources, your adrenals are exhausted, okay? Now, are drugs causing you to feel as bad as you do? Absolutely, positively, okay? Let me go through a few things here. The most dangerous pain medications, okay, I've listed some of them, but they're over the counter, but they're very dangerous. You don't even realize how dangerous these medications are, including Advil and bare aspirin. And I guess I should say that quietly because I saw a bear sign somewhere in, in the city. Do, do they have a bear headquarters for bear aspirin here? So I have to be careful with what I say about that. But that's okay. I, that's all right. I, I, uh, it's the truth. It's the truth. It's the truth. You know, what can I tell you? When you think of dangerous drugs, what comes to your mind? Heroin? Cocaine? LSD? But how about pain pills? They're, they're, they're the adverse pain medication, the adverse drug reactions, remember I said, fourth leading cause of death in the United States today. You know how many, this is the equivalent of, they've, they've stated that over 250,000 people die per year from medication interaction. That would be like a 747 crashing every single day of the year. That is the number of people that die from medication interaction. Amen. Now, do you think the FAA, if a 747 went down every day, don't you think the FAA would finally say, hey, we need to interve intervene here, what's going on? But yet the FDA and the pharmaceutical industry does nothing. Why? Can anybody tell me? They're all in the same boat. They, they're in bed together, and I know for a fact, because I wrote a book several years ago, and you can find it on Amazon, it's called The Drug Lords, America's Pharmaceutical Cartel, and it is. It's a legalized cartel, but the FDA in a pharmaceutical industry, you've got board members from the FDA that sit on the board for the drug, drug companies. Now, how in the world can they be unprejudiced when it comes to your health and your welfare? There's no way. It's impossible. And that's why this is the, the fourth leading cause of death today in this country. Aspirin. You think it's safe? Think again. Higher doses of, and use of, even a buffered, will cause, increase your likelihood of Perforated ulcers and gastrointestinal bleeding by 90-95%. Acetaminophen. Lots of, lots of uh, emergency visits, emergency room visits just with acetaminophen. I almost died uh, about eight months ago. And what I did, against my own common sense, is I took a, uh, an antibiotic and I took, within a half hour, I took a, uh, a, an aspirin with it, and it interacted, and I went into shock. And I stopped breathing, and I was able to bring myself out of it. The ambulance came, but I fortunately was coming out of it. But it was simply just from an allergic reaction from com combining those two things. Yeah. Do you know how many people are out there taking medication com combinations and they're going to different doctors and one doesn't know what the other is taking and they're taking all this stuff and this stuff reacts together. I'll give you an example. Remember I said the number one cause, the number one prescribed medication is an antidepressant. Antidepressants cause your heartbeat to slow down when you take them. So you got people taking them at night and then mysteriously the next morning they die, their heart stopped. Because oftentimes what they're doing is they're taking the antidepressant and drinking a glass of wine. The wine is a depressant. It depresses the heartbeat. So you take this together, and it's an accident. It's a vehicle for not waking up the next morning. OK. So we could go on and on and on. I'm not. I just wanted to give you an idea, just showing you these slides. Of the, you all are so coming up against so much stuff that you, for the reason why you've got to take your health into your own hands. There is no magic bullet. You've got to take, you've got to do this stuff together, and, and that's very important for you to realize because how do you help yourselves? Well, you're helping yourselves by being here today, being exposed to this information, being on the nutraceuticals, seeing Dr. Weiner, seeing Jamie, seeing me, eating different. All this stuff works together. And exercise. How many in here exercise? How many? Very outstanding. Okay. How many in here drink water? Extremely important. 
half your body weight in ounces of water per day. That's right. Okay? But is there something else that, what can you do to take it to the next level? And that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Every cell in your body, remember, is electrical, it's energetic, it has a frequency. Just keep that in mind, okay? And it sends signals to other cells. Do you know that even your thoughts, if you have a positive thought, it's a positive energy. You have a negative thought, what is it? Negative. negative energy. <coughs> and you bring it in from others, okay? Your cells are communicating energetically. Everything's communicating energetically. This is just fancy. We even began energetically. Did you know that the sperm is positive and the egg is negative? And how does that, you've heard of opposites attract? But if the, if, the, if the sperm was negative, it would never penetrate to the egg. Do you see where I'm going with this? So you started out electrically. Because God had, in his, God has created us with our, the body of the temple that we're housed in, and he's done all this wisely. Here we go, next slide. And just kind of showing the electrical process of, of our development once fertilization occurs. I'm going to tell you something really neat. This is kind of off the subject a little bit. They did an ultrasound of a, of a mom that was pregnant, and after the fifth day in development, the brain and guess what other organ develops in five days? The most important system to your body, the gut. In the fifth day of fer after fertilization, the brain and gut develop first. Okay? Wow. Everything in this universe has a specific frequency, and you see all, of, all the different frequencies, okay? So let's talk about the microcurrent frequency and the mighty mini and how you can use it for so many things, okay? So many applications. And remember, if you haven't been tested today, I'm here till, um, till uh, uh, later, till five o'clock, and then I'm leaving for back to go down to warm Florida in the morning. Uh, Daytona Beach, Ormond Beach. Goal of this little instrument is it's easy to use, it's portable, it's convenient, it's economical, it's gonna accelerate the healing. So whatever health problem you have, in a minute, I'm going to show you why it is literally going to accelerate the healing of your problem. I'm going to demonstrate it. And when you're, the beauty of this is when you use this in conjunction with taking your nutritional frontiers and changing your diet, you are going to become a big time healing machine. And whatever's going on with you is going to be an accelerated healing. You aren't going to have to be so dependent anymore on medications. We have so many patients come to us as they're taking the frontiers and doing the Mighty Mini and telling us how they've been able to get off medications and they feel so much better. Why? And here it comes down to this. And if you don't remember anything but this today, and there'll be a test here when I finish, but if you remember nothing at else but this thing right here, this is why microcurrent is so extremely effective in healing and you really can't be without it. Who in this room has ever used TENS? It's called the TENS units. And you know the TENS units are used to, they put these patches on your muscles to help your muscles relax and reduce pain. Well, little do you know that the TENS is not doing you as much good as you thought because it's all in the frequency of electricity. It's what we call the healing effect of electricity. Microcurrent is a low, the lowest of frequencies of electricity, and that's why it has such a healing effect. And here's what it does. ATP. ATP is a, every one of us in this room has 100, at least 100 trillion, 120 trillion cells in our body. And every cell has ATP, and ATP is the battery pack of every cell. You remember that commercial with the, the uh, rabbit that's running down, the battery's running down? Well, that's what happens with everybody, all of us, as we age. Of course, nobody in this room is older than 30. I'm scanning the room really quickly. But what happens is as you age, every cell, that ATP, that battery pack, that wears down. And that's the beginning of disease, okay? So, when you use the microcurrent, it increases the ATP by 500%. But when you do the TENS, which is a, another kind of electric lift frequency, it decreases the ATP. 
And remember, ATP is the second most, uh, it indicates how long you're going to live. So what would you rather do in this room? Would you rather increase your ATP by 500% or decrease it? Tell me. <coughs> so that's one of the first things it does. The second effect that microcurrent has on you, your cell has got to allow the nutrients that you take in every day to penetrate it, to get in, to nourish you. Right. So if you're not getting nourishment from your nutrition, you can't live, you can't survive, you're going to get sick. When you do microcurrent therapy, when we use the Mighty Mini, the research shows with microcurrent, it will increase, your, increase the, the ability for the nutrition to get in your cell by 30 to 40 percent. In other words, everything that you're getting here today, the Nutrition Frontier Vitamins and Nutrition, when you do microcurrent, you're increasing your ability to absorb those nutrients by 30 to 40 percent. You're increasing the ability to, to absorb what you're eating by 30 to 40 percent. That's, that's so important to your body, to the ability to heal. That's a second reason microcurrent is so important. The third reason Every 30 days, your cells die and new ones uh, redevelop. When you use microcurrent, it increases the ability for the cells to rebuild by 73%. That's what we call protein synthesis. Do so you see, understand now why this type of frequency is so healing to the body, whereas when you're doing TENS, you're literally diminishing it by that much. So even if you're feeling relief with TENS on your muscles, on a deeper level, it is having no effect but a detrimental effect on you versus microcurrent and what it does. I just want to show you the other healing factors that happen with microcurrent. By the way, everybody's got this handout now, right? Yeah, right. So if I give a, an exam out here in just a minute, you all should do really well. It, it, it works on DNA synthesis. And anybody know that there's a you know what chromosomes are? Chromosomes are what we have in our body that determines our, our, it's our genes, right? The genetic pattern. And at the end of the chromosome is something called a telomere. Telomeres, the length of them decide, uh, will, will indicate how long we're going to live. If we have a short telomere, there's our length of time on this earth as God has seen, deemed fit is not as long as somebody who has a longer telomere. Well, when you do microcurrent, studies show that it affects the length of that telomere. It affects T lymphocyte activation. What does that mean? Your body literally makes what are called killer cells. You, your body literally has the ability to attack virus and bacteria and parasite and yeast. But as we age, we have a decline in those cells. When you use microcurrent, you activate those killer cells again, okay? Insulin binding. Diabetes is an epidemic in this country. It's beyond belief, right? Because people, weight gain, lack of exercise, and particularly our children and our diets and all that, well, we learn to eat more healthy to help the diabetes and certain nutraceuticals, but when you use microcurrent, you will regulate the blood sugar. It's an anti-inflammatory, number five. When I, use, when I use the microcurrent, when we use it on patients, we reduce the inflammation, and by the way, Inflammation is the number one cause of degenerative diseases. We all have inflammation in our bodies to some extent or another. When you have a high level of inflammation, you are going to be more prone to having cancer and some horrific degenerative conditions. So the key is to do stuff to reduce the inflammation. So how do we do that? Well, can anybody tell me in diet, what would be some good foods to eat to keep the inflammation down? Anybody, tell me. Raw vegetables, particularly green leafy ones, right? What else? Anybody? Okay. Would, would dairy products help inflammation? They would aggravate it. Would, would meat products help inflammation? No. Would stress help inflammation? No, of course not. Would, uh, would uh, juicing help inflammation? Okay. So see where I'm going with this? Have you heard the thing about becoming alkalized versus acidic? We are a very acidic body because the diet we eat, I like to call it the sad diet, the standard American diet. It's sad, right? What is it? It's dairy and it's white stuff. It's starch, right? And it's processed food and it's condiments. And guess what all these foods are? They're inflaming. They're inflaming. 
But if you get yourself on green leafy vegetables and you get yourself on, on good dark skinned uh, fruit and you do juicing and water, that's the first big step to alkalizing your body. And by the way, cancer cannot be nourished in an alkaline environment. And all degenerative conditions cannot thrive in an alkaline environment. Amen. Now we're going to go to the microcurrent. Guess what microcurrent does? It gets your body alkalized. It helps to get you into that as well. It takes you to that level. This is just showing a lot of the stuff that the Mighty Mini does. The microcurrent can relieve all kinds of pains and aches. It has so many applications for pain. You can take it and you can go right in whatever the area of pain is, it'll affect it. I will show you reflex points that you can work to control and reduce your pain. It has cosmetic applications, lines and wrinkles. I'm 120 years old, and look at what <laughs> the Mighty Many has done for me, okay? Amazing. And you should, yes, there you go. But the, no, all kidding aside, we have done a lot of research in our clinic, and we see it, it, it stimulates collagen, and it and affects lines and wrinkles, because again, that's the, the healing effect, as I told you why. So, and, and health acceleration. Now, you'll have, um, hold on a second. Let's go to it. Now, I talked about pain control. How many uh, in you in here have pain problems with your backs, for example? How many? So, what you should be doing, number one, of course, is getting adjusted over here at the clinic and getting the work done here, but you can also then take the Mighty Mini home with you, and you see those X, those X areas? You can have your significant other work on your back or if you don't have a significant other just call a friend so they'll come over okay and and uh, we could start a whole new service here say call a friend service right and you could just have them just for you know I had a patient tell me once that she didn't want to get married but she would just like to have the man you know a man to help her in the, in the, in the around the house and the man to help her here and a man to help her there and that's all she needed. And I said, now we have a new service that call a friend and they'll come over and you can help them help you with your mighty mini, okay? Yeah. Now, here's, here's if you have lower back pain, these are the points you need to work with a mighty mini, okay? And you would lay on your stomach and you would have your friend or your other half touch for 30 seconds on those points and the, the pain in the lower back will be significantly helped. These are other points for sciatica and lower back pain. So this is, I'm showing you some of these things that the Mighty Mini does. See that point? That's the side of the buttock. That's where that point, you've got to, so, so whomever's working on you needs to go right into that, right there, the cheek. You see the cheek? Yeah. That's where they're going right in with it, okay, for 30 seconds to erase the pain. And head, neck and shoulders, you can literally do the whole back. You can work on the shoulders with it. You can go up in the neck with it, okay? You all have this on your handout, right? Yep. Good, excellent. These two acupoints are the most you can do in the least amount of time. They're called power points. If you, just, if you did nothing but work these two points every day, twice a day, you would change your health. You would make big changes because these points are energetically balancing out your body and putting it in a healing mode and then you're taking your nutraceuticals from, from Nutritional Frontiers and your diet, you're going to get, accelerate the healing. But those two points, you see where they are? Everybody hold up your hand. Show me, take your finger and go into that web between your index finger and your thumb and rub it. It'll be sore. Anybody feel soreness when you rub it? Okay? It's going to be, a, it's, there'll be discomfort there. You'll take the Mighty Mini and you'll go right in there and you'll just, it'll, it'll start activating that point for 30 seconds, okay? Same thing, now that one for the knee is a little bit not a good, kind of where it's showing is not actually very accurate. Find your knee, go outside the knee and find a notch on the outside of the knee. The notch is that point there, okay? And that's where you want to work for that. Now, this is what I wanted you all to see, and this is where the test is going to start. And the people that I tested today can now, I'm going to pick on a few of them here in a second. But uh, they're going to, they, they, you'll learn this. I just want to give an example how simple that this is, is to learn. It's not complicated, okay? Take your hand. Let's take the left hand, okay? And I'm going to start with Rebecca. 
And Rebecca, you're going to tell me where on the hand is the lymph, the lymph system. You can cheat. You use your cheat sheet there. Everybody, look at your sheet there. You got this to the hand. Can you see it? Look at it up here, okay? The outside nail bed on the thumb is your lymphatic system. Everybody sitting in this room has lymphatic congestion going on. With a show of hands, how many in this room have pain in their muscles and joints or anywhere for that matter? Okay, how many of you in, in this room complain of arthritis? How many of you in this room complain of fibromyalgia? How many of you in this room have osteoarthritis? Any kind of inflammation, arthritis, fibromyalgia, your lymph system is congested. What is the lymph system? Rebecca, what is the lymph system? Remember the septic tank, right? I should have called on your mom instead. <laughs> Ask, my mom. Ask mom. Mom, what's the lymph system? Uh, exactly. Exactly. It's your, it's your body's septic tank. It's your body's septic tank. And guess what? Remember I showed you the toxins we're exposed to? Doesn't it make sense that we're all backed up with toxins? I'd say another word, but it wouldn't be correct, obviously. But we're so backed up. We're all, do you know that the average person eliminates, they think it's normal to have a bowel movement every three days? No, no. We're full of poison. John Wayne, did you know when they did an uh, autopsy on him, they yeah. took out 50 pounds of feces yeah. out of his body. And the average person is carrying 5 to 10 pounds of feces in their body at any given time, extra feces, because we're so poisoned. So it is any wonder that septic tank is backed up. So what I was trying to say is, if you take that outside of the thumb and you touch on it with even just rubbing it, but better yet, get your Mighty Minis and stimulate that lymph system, you will start seeing changes along with taking from Frontiers the lymphatic formula and some other formulas we have here and eating an alkalized diet, you will start to get rid of your muscle pain and joint pain and arthritis and all that stuff. You can take all that arthritic medication and throw it out the window Amen. just by working the lymphatic system, okay? Are you with me so far? Let's go to the next, the major point. Now, I'm, I'm going to skip the lung over here, the next point, and let's go to the colon. You see that? Find your index finger. You, uh, look at the nail bed on the outside, or the inside. Of your, are you there? You see it on your thing? You see it on the graph here? The colon. That's your colon. Now, have you ever heard of anything called yeast, candidiasis? Raise your hand. Candidas, candidiasis. 75% of the female population, according to the Centers for Disease Control, the CDC, has estimated now that 75% of you gals in this room have candidiasis going on, yeast. I'd say it's even more than 75%. What are the symptoms of it? Bloatedness, weight gain, gastrointestinal problems, you get sick all the time, you don't feel good, you feel tired. I mean, we could go on and on and on. It covers so many symptoms. In fact, go on the internet and look up yeast, candidiasis, C-A-N-D-I-D-I-S, candidiasis. It affects everybody, men too. It is the cause of most of our symptoms. It is the first sign that cancer is trying to happen in your body. It is the first sign. Do you realize that it takes cancer eight years to manifest in your body? That's why it drives me crazy when a person will say, but they did an exam and I was clear in the following month I went in and they found cancer. Well, guess what? They missed it because you've had cancer. We all have it in us. Whether or not it takes hold of us is how much of a great environment have we provided for our bodies. And I was just telling Rebecca and her mom that there's a study now that shows that it's the gut. For the longest time we've known this, your gut is the source of all your health. So when you have a disruption of the good bacteria, and you have this yeast start growing in you, which is this candidiasis, it is the sign of cancer trying to set up shop. And the colon point right here, once you find that active, all you have to do with, with a Mighty Mini is use your Mighty Mini on that point and you start in conjunction with taking from nutri nutraceutical, uh, natural, uh, Nutritional Frontiers, their Candikill and their Microgon and their lymphatic tinctures and such and their probiotics and do this point and get on a yeast-free way of eating. Can anybody tell me what a yeast-free way of eating is? Anybody? No bread. No bread. No, no, no sugar. No cheese. Because you're feeding these microbes. Have you ever wondered why they tell you so many people are going in the hospital and coming out with MRSA? Why is that? Because who in this room, raise your hand, has never in your lifetime ever been on an antibiotic? Anybody? Raise your hand. 
who has never been on, that's the other one, right? We've all been on antibiotics at one time or another, and what happens when you take an antibiotic? Tell me, anybody, what happens? It screws up all the good flora, and it allows the bad flora, the bacteria and virus and such, to perpetuate, to proliferate, and they overgrow in you. And they keep doing that through your life. So when you go into a hospital with some procedure to be done, your immune system is already at a disadvantage. It's no wonder that you come out with MRSA and everything else. So what is the solution? The solution is get yourself on an, an anti-candidas program with the Nutritional Frontier Protocol. Get your Mighty Mini, start working your colon and your lymphatics. Get yourself eating a yeast-free way of eating. And I'm going to tell you something unequivocally. I will say it right here and right now. 90%, I mean 90% of any health problem you have will be gone because you have gotten to the source of 90% of the health problems comes down to these microbes. Are you getting what I'm saying here? Yeah. It's simply you getting a handle on getting rid of the microbes. I promise you, in whatever itis you have, whatever health condition you have, when you do this protocol, you are going to see major changes in your health, okay? Now, some other points I wanted to stress real quick. Uh, circulation. Everybody has circulation problems. Everybody. Have you ever heard, everybody in this room can tell me a personal experience. Yeah, you know, a friend of mine went in for a procedure and they came out with a blood clot. How many have heard this story lately? Aren't you hearing more about blood clots than ever before? Do you ever, you ever, ever wondered why all of a sudden are we hearing about blood clots? You know, two-thirds of the, the population of Florida is on rat poison. It's called Coumadin, okay? I call Florida, you know, lovingly, because I live there, it's God's waiting room. <laughs> I have God's waiting room in my office. My, my, my lovely patients who are my seniors, I love them to death, but I get so frustrated because they're so mistreated right. by the medical system, they think you guys are stupid. Yes. stupid. No, honestly, they think you're a bunch of idiots. And that's the first problem, because they don't respect that you are a human being, that you have a brain, and oh, here, take some rat poison and call me in the morning. Yeah. I'd like to say, would you like to take some rat poison, doctor? Or would you give this rat poison to your children or to your, your wife? Would you see what they say? Do you know that they did a, a thing, the top oncologists in the United States meet every so often in Europe and they, one of these meetings, they handed out a survey to the, to the doctors, the oncologists, and said, if you had a loved one who had cancer, what would you do? You know what their answer was? I'd send them to Europe for, because they have more progressive therapies over there than over here. They don't do their own medicine. I promise you they don't. I know that for a fact. Okay? I'm real critical of this. I know it sounds like that, but I'm very passionate about this because I see this injustice out there and you all I feel I give you so much credit for being here today and listening to me and being here to do all that we have they have you doing here you guys are, are amazing that way now adrenals oh by the way circulation I just want to stress that you got to work on your circulation how do you work on your circulation they have a wonderful product here at Frontiers called Power Q it's wonderful they have another product that's for their circulation circuit flow and and you want to do circulation stuff but anybody tell me what are foods you can eat for your circulation ten anybody tell me can you think of anything for your circulation that is really good beets, beets can be very healthy for your circulation absolutely pomegranate you ever heard of it yes. pomegranate juice is excellent for your circulation green leafy vegetables are great yes yes yeah, absolutely okay Aloe vera, absolutely, okay? So you wanna, you wanna, but also you wanna be mobile, right? You wanna do some exercises that is aerobic, okay? Now, let's go to the next one, adrenals. Remember I said the stress, that nobody in this room has stress? Those are the glands that are the stress glands. Now, remember I said the, 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 the candidiasis, the colon causes 90%? Well, guess what? The adrenals are also a big factor in every illness that is imaginable has its origins with tired adrenals. Has anybody in this room ever heard of prednisone, yeah. steroids? Do you know they give you that for every imaginable thing? Why would you think they do that for? What do, your ster what do, what do steroids work on in the body? Can anybody guess? The adrenals. That's what prednisone is. That prednisone stimulates your adrenals. 
because see, adrenals are the cause of most problems. But guess what happens when you take prednisone? You wear down your adrenals after a while, and guess what? Worst off is you wear down your immune system. Anybody in here ever heard of Humira? Yes. What is Humira? Anybody? For psoriasis and inflammation and stuff like that. Well, guess what? Guess what Humira also does in a bad way? It, it depresses your Okay, I had a patient who came to me as a new patient and she had a prosthetic leg. And during the consultation I said, what happened? She said, I was on Humira for three years and nobody, but nobody bothered to test my CBCs and blood cells, white and neutrophils to see if my immune system was getting depressed. So after three years of Humira, her immune system was gone and she got a bacterial infection, no defense, and she lost her leg from Humira. Okay? That's why when they tell you these ads on TV, they whisper like this when they say these are the, the negative effects, because the negative effects outnumber all the, all the, all the, all the bad stuff, all the good stuff. The point of it is I'm trying to make is your adrenal glands are your master gland. You gotta work your adrenals to slow down and reduce the inflammation and build up your immune system. And guess what? Remember what I said early on, for those of you who remember? I said the antidepressants and psychotics and all that are the top prescribed medication. If you're depressed and if you can't sleep and if you are, are just feeling down, all you have to do is build up your adrenal glands. That's all you have to do, okay? And you're, gonna, you're not gonna need those drugs anymore. And by the way, do you know that they have come out with a new drug? It combines, it com it combines the effect of Viagra with, with the effects of the, uh, the drug from Eli Lilly, the, um, what did I tell you for depression or the one that's a major one? My mind is drawing a blank right now. They've, they've combined Prozac. the Prozac, Prozac and Viagra, they put it in one medication, so if it doesn't work, you don't care. <laughs> okay, moving right along. So these, the rest of these points are on your chart, and, and so what I'm doing when I test you all through, when you come to see me today, I'm scanning you with a mighty mini on these points, I'm able to find out what areas of these points are hot spots where you feel something? I can tell you what areas are involved. Then I send you home with a mighty mini, and you work on these areas. I'm going to get to your, que your uh, questions in just a quick second. TMJ, anybody have TMJ problems in here? You can literally work on your TMJ with the mighty mini. These are just different areas that you can use. Now, everybody loves this point. Who in here likes to lose weight? Everybody wants to know about weight loss, right? Okay, well, I have some magic, magic points for weight loss. I have this system that I, will, I put together that combines the Nutritional Frontier products for weight loss. Along with working these points, I guarantee you, you will take the weight off and you will keep it off. And this is one of the major points right there. It's called the epistat. A-double-P-I-S-T-A-T. Epistat for weight control. All you do is you take the Mighty Mini and you, you contact that apostat and your appetite is suppressed. It's for real. It's amazing how it works. It's an acupuncture point for weight control. Are you with me? Right there, apostat on both sides. There are other points too, but we'll have to do that on another show. Okay. Hunger pains. It reduces your hunger pains. It helps you feel satisfied with less food. You treat it 10 minutes before meal time for 10 to 20 seconds. So right before you eat, you treat it for 10 to 20 seconds, and it reduces your need to eat. Lines and wrinkles. This is a basic guide to getting rid of, to working, uh, your, tightening your skin. You take the Mighty Mini, and you work it upward and outward, upward and outward. Except the eyes, you work from the outside towards the nose, okay? This will tighten the skin. It works on lines and wrinkles. It simulates collagen, okay? Princess Diana was a big proponent of microcurrent. Princess Di was really ahead of her time. She uh, actually, the machine that, uh, one of the machines, the doctor that developed this microcurrent machine, this little device, he developed one for cosmetic purposes and she endorsed it because she used it. But I used her face because I wanted to show you on it 
the numbers. Do you realize that you have acupuncture points on your face? Did you realize that? So that what you are inside shows up out here. Do you, 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 you understand what I'm saying? What's going on in here shows up out here. So wherever your lines and wrinkles are on your face is connected to an organ inside that is fatigued. Let me give you an example. OK, the pituitary gland, right in between your eyes. You see this? Do you ever see people get a kind of a, 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 a line in there, or they'll get a, OK? That's because their pituitary gland is a weak link. And just by taking the mighty mini and stimulating that number two point, you will see changes on the exterior appearance, but you're also going to stimulate your pituitary gland. So anybody in here have a guess as to why is the pituitary gland so important? It is the most overlooked gland. It is the control tower for your thyroid gland. So traditional medicine gives you thyroid medication, which they give you for the rest of your life. It does nothing for you, but everybody overlooks the fact the source of it is your pituitary gland. Right. So you got to work, but that pituitary gland, hypothalamus, they're almost set, is all controlled by, con, there's a control tower. So, so that I can wind this up, the point of it is that these are points that you can work if you want. This is, uh, is it on your thing? Yeah. It's a, a, a smaller version. Yeah, it's on there. So to make a long story short, we have so many things you can do with this microcurrent that's mighty many. I'm here today until 5 to test you if you'd like to be tested. Do we have any quick questions? I'm sorry I've taken a little bit of a time to try to get through this, but I really appreciate the opportunity. Yes. Good job. The pressure points that you've given on the hands. And yes. The foot, yes. Is that strictly on left hand and right No, hand both hand both hands and both feet. And they're end points. They're they're the most important acupuncture points because you're going from the end and they're going in from the terminal. Any other very questions? Good. Jamie, do you have an announcement? Thanks, folks. Thank appreciate you very much. It. Appreciate it. Awesome. Terrific.